Hi, I'm Dr. Ann Louise, and have you ever asked yourself why anxiety seems to be the prevalent issue of the day? I think I have an answer, and that's because there is such a deficiency of the mineral magnesium, which is the anti-anxiety mineral. As a matter of fact, magnesium hasn't really gotten a lot of play over the past 10 years because it's been overshadowed by its sister mineral, calcium. But truth be told, you actually need about twice as much magnesium as you do calcium. It's one of the reasons that I had to formulate a product myself called the female formula that had that exact ratio. Well, magnesium is needed by your 658 muscles of the body, and it's a cofactor for every single amino acid in your system. It is so very important because just as calcium gives your body the ability to contract, Magnesium gives your body the ability to relax. It is probably a key factor in many, many conditions, ranging from physical maladies to mental disorders. Now, I'm just going to read you a few of the symptoms of magnesium deficiency that I wanted to uh, get in a list for you so you'd see the width and breadth of what's going on with magnesium. Magnesium is connected to fibromyalgia. It is also deficient in migraine headaches, chronic pain, mitral valve prolapse, anxiety and panic attacks, as I mentioned, as well as fatigue, diabetes, and magnesium, lest we forget, is the quintessential heart mineral. So I believe that a ratio of about two to one, as some of the magnesium experts have defined, is really what you need to be looking at when you're taking a mineral supplement or a multi. I also believe that if you're suffering from cramps or if you've got problems with PMS, perimenopause or menopause, magnesium is going to be your best friend to make sure that calcium gets into the bones where it should be deposited, not in the soft tissues. So when it comes to magnesium, remember the marvels of magnesium. Remember also that magnesium is probably deficient because we lose it under stress. And if you're not eating enough green leafy vegetables, and how many of us do in this day and age, you may need at least 400 to 800 magnesium on a daily basis. If you can't sleep at night, keep it near your bedside because it is the best natural sleeping pill. If you wake up currently during the night or lots of times during the night concurrently, then note that that's a magnesium deficiency. If you can't fall asleep, that's usually calcium. So magnesium to the rescue, it is my favorite mineral and I think it's going to be yours. This is Dr. Ann Louise saying stay tuned for more.